with my presentation for self-motivation. The platform for interaction is going to be Mentimeter again. For those ones who haven't been there at my previous speech, uh, you need to open a window, go to menti.com and use the code 9943N20 just to be able to enter uh, the interactive platform. Please follow my instructions. And I would be grateful if you could send me a sign if you are in so I can see that you are available for the training. Yeah, at least one person is already there. Two. Good, good, good. Okay. So you have already started getting connected. Okay. Uh, Self-motivation. This is the title of today's uh, mini training I'm going to deliver you. And this will focus on what, what you can do for yourselves. Just ask yourselves. But before we start um, getting deeper uh, into the topic, I would like uh, to refer to your, your motivation. What motivates me? What motivates you? Could you give me some hints? It is always interesting to discover yourselves, to discover what motivates you and to see whether you can change anything about that. So that's why it's uh, extremely important to see what Im motivating factors for you are. Somebody's kids and positive feedback. Mm -hmm. Positive feedback is always a very, very important thing. And I guess everybody can be extremely energetic when receiving positive feedback about them. Learning, I can absolutely agree. New knowledge, thinking about a complex problem, okay, reaching a goal, okay. Family, very, very important, but recognition at the same time as well, of course. When, when you make something unforgettable, absolutely. When you build some awesome tools, wow. Helping people, when you improve yourselves. Beautiful, great, great. Family seems to be the uh, cent central topic for many of you. It's good to see that there are also other factors in um, what uh, motivates you. Which of these motivators are important to you in your jobs? Please try to rank them in order what's very important for you at the first place and what's the least important for you at place number 10. This can be honor, that you are honored uh, by people around you uh, who know about what you are doing. Status can be a very motivating factor for some of you or relatedness to other people, or being accepted by other people. Maybe what motivates you is power or freedom, that you can do whatever you want, uh, of course, within a certain framework, or maybe mastery, mastering a skill, mastering your professions, mastering something uh, which is important for you. Curiosity, which brings you actually to discover new depth in yourselves, maybe, or maybe the world around you, or maybe new knowledge, information you haven't uh, known before. Another thing might be order, which we haven't mentioned yet. And that was one more thing, uh, a goal. And I see so far, go, it has the leading role here at least three of you must have voted more or less for that 
is number one. But freedom seems to be very important as well and honor. Oh, maybe mastery and curiosity, which uh, helps you getting more uh, yeah, accepted in your profession and maybe something uh, that gives you satisfaction uh, while you are doing either your jobs or your hobbies. Never forget about your hobbies. Or maybe something you do for your family, for your beloved ones. But still, being accepted by others and relatedness seem to be very important for some of you as well. As far as I can see, uh, there are plenty of very, uh, yeah, um, how to say, uh, mind people who don't really, uh, yeah, say that status and power and order are very important for them. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I can uh, agree with that. But of course, it is your choice. It's, it's always up to you what you choose. Which of these motivators do you get in your current role? We shouldn't forget about when you are working for a company in a certain role. It must be one of the very important factors to get your motivators to keep running, to keep delivering, to keep performing, not only because you want to be uh, at 100%, at least, of what can be delivered, but also uh, for yourselves, just to be able to get up every single morning with a feeling that you will do here something very important and maybe interesting, something that frees you up, or um, feeds your curiosity and uh, shapes your mastery. For some of you, mastery is extremely uh, important, yeah, uh, and you get it as well, okay. It's very good. And acceptance is also present in your roles, very good. Freedom. Congratulations for that. Because if you've got freedom in your jobs and you love your jobs, it will bring you further and it will feed uh, your inner drive to be able to uh, connect uh, and, and uh, relate uh, to your jobs uh, very well. And uh, curiosity is also uh, present. You get uh, room uh, for curiosity in your jobs and acceptance as well. You are honored and you get status as well and power, order. Good. It's just interesting that uh, order, power and uh, status weren't at the highest uh, level when you were voting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still, uh, the winning uh, Trio is acceptance, freedom, and mastery. So this is what you get. Good. Okay. Now let's take a look at those motivators you don't get out of these 10. Maybe these are going to be less important for you and you don't care. Maybe these ones are things that you don't consider being important for yourselves, for your careers, for your well-being, for your motivation, to get up on Monday mornings and start working. So some of you don't uh, get any fuel for curiosity. Uh -huh. Some of you don't get fuel for a status, order, and power, okay? But we will see whether it's important at all for you. It is actually a pity if you don't get honored. 
because uh, it's always a very important thing that you do things here which are based on uh, actually kind of cer certain uh, human uh, aspect. And I feel pity for somebody uh, who hasn't, uh, who doesn't really uh, get freedom as a motivator. Think about this. I think it's a very important thing to consider your situation now. Do you get your most important motivators of them? If you think about this, then you will maybe arrive at a point where you see that some changes are needed. You can even take a piece of paper and write it down for yourselves. What do you think? What can you do for your own motivation? Motivation that will fuel your inner drive and make you feel energetic, make you go on, go the extra mile. Maybe you can do yourself something, something that keeps you working, keeps you being happy in your professions, in your hobbies, with your family, makes actually feel you that you are you are living here for something important. It is worth being here for you. What you can do for your own motivation is maybe changing your jobs if you don't get what you want. It is also a technique you can use. It is like avoiding confrontation, but maybe you can do something different as well. Maybe the person who has written this has considered every other aspect already and none of them worked. Find a new perspective to look things at. Try to find new features of a challenge or a task. Give acknowledgement to myself. Wow. And upload results myself. Wow. Very good. Maybe even writing them and putting them on your fridge uh, works well. Okay. Success in things you, uh, I do. Okay. Absolutely. So the feeling of being successful can fuel uh, your motivation. Step back for a minute and review or analyze our life and change the unlikely things. Mm -hmm. Or maybe things you, you are not really satisfied with. Maybe you can do even more. Maybe you can be even more proactive. Maybe you can devote less time to disturbing things and more time to motivating things. Sounds very, very, yeah, interesting. Okay. And, and actually, uh, absolutely. Uh, okay. Focus on other non-job related stuff, which I like to do. Absolutely. But never forget about, uh, in this case, you haven't solved a problem maybe you face at uh, your workplace uh, and you try to hide and uh, don't uh, yeah, waste energies on changing anything which might be changeable. So if you don't try, maybe you won't be able to change anything about that. Now, let's change our mindset. It's not like I can't change things and uh, I don't need to leave my job or concentrate on just my hobby just to be able to feel motivated and uh, focus on anything else, uh, only the one thing I want to change or uh, not. There are six vital skills for self-motivation you can work with. Set realistic and smart goals. Realistic means not very difficult and not very easy. Realistic ones, which you know for sure you are able to do. 
and SMART goals, these mean that the goals are actually also measurable, whether you, you have done them at all. Of course, time bound, not like I will do it sometimes in the future, maybe. No, I will do it next week or by the end of next week. And of course, uh, SMART goals mean uh, at the uh, same time as well that, that you uh, may achieve them and uh, you, you uh, set them in a way uh, that, uh, that they are obvious for you, that they are there. Take the right level of risk. It means uh, if you uh, try to do very risky things all the time, Maybe you won't ever succeed. It's a very important thing to see what risk you can take, especially if you know about yourselves that you can get very easily nervous and you break down in these situations. It doesn't make sense to face all these challenges. Seek feedback to be able to improve. If you never ask around uh, what you performed like, whether you can be satisfied with yourselves, then maybe you won't ever get to know that you overperform. Very often people uh, overperform or do more than expected and still they can't believe they are doing so. So ask for that. Not only uh, for improvement, but I, I would uh, suggest do it also for yourselves just to be able to see how you do things. Commit to goals. And if you have committed, go the extra mile. You will never reach your goals if you don't go the extra mile. You will never develop. It's very important. Uh, it is very uncomfortable sometimes, or at least a little bit uncomfortable, but still learning will happen and you will have a sense of achievement in this case. Seek and seize opportunities. Never close your eyes and never think uh, that you don't have any opportunities. Opportunities are there. They are out there. They are sent to you. They are offered to you. You just need to realize them and then seize them. Seizing is another very important aspect of this because uh, sometimes I see that people look for opportunities but don't have enough energies or don't put into uh, um, enough effort uh, to seize those opportunities. So do that. And pursue your goals despite the obstacles. This is uh, actually the very trendy term of resilience. l d has a training on that. Don't forget about that. How to survive in a situation where you're pursuing your goals, even though there are plenty of ob obstacles. Do that. It is worth and try to develop this. So these are the six vital skills for self-motivation. What do you think? Which of these skills are your real strengths? You can choose two of them. And it's very important to identify these strengths. You can build upon them. It's very uh, useful to know about what your strengths are. You can get back to them anytime and think of, this is where I can start. This is where I need to build upon. And hopefully, this way you get energized. And it's going to be very easy for you to take the very first step which will make you succeed step by step. You know, one mile is just like 800 steps. So 800 times, just a little step, and you are over the one mile. Okay, some of you said taking the right level of, of risk uh, is their real strength. And another one, seeking and seizing opportunities. Oh, going the extra mile for my goals. A very energetic person. Maybe they have a very energizing hobby or maybe people they can connect to or maybe something, an inner drive which keeps them going on. 
which gives them the satisfaction uh, they need to be motivated in their lives. Yeah, realistic and smart goals. I envy those people who have always realistic and smart goals, especially those ones uh, who can do it in a smart way. And pursuing your goals, despite the obstacles. Absolutely. Respect for you. And there must have been uh, more people who can go the extra mile for their goals if it's needed. And this is their real strength. Okay. Seeking and seizing the opportunities was uh, very strong with some of you as well. Okay, guys. So this is what you can build upon. Never forget about this. How can you maintain your motivation? This is another que uh, question which is very often asked me. What I can give you as advice, which I have already told many times, learn continuously. This is my job, but this is a piece of advice I can tell anybody, not only my children, but everybody who comes to me, what they need to do is number one is learn continuously. This is what you can do actually if you just look around and follow what's given and seize the opportunities at EPAM, for example. Spend time with motivated and enthusiastic people. And I would say not only motivated and enthusiastic people, but for example, children or, or, or family members who love, who, who have kind of loving life attitude because they will uh, give you so much energy that you can't really believe, really. These people actually can inspire you uh, in your life. So if you have team members, for example, around who, who are really enthusiastic about what they are doing, then I would suggest have a coffee with them at least once a week just to get uh, some energy. Maybe you will be able to re-inspire them. Cultivate a very positive mindset. You don't need to see all the time what was wrong, what uh, you made wrong or uh, what didn't go well, but what went well, what you learned from a situation, what a positive outcome was and build your resilience. You can build your resilience even though there are obstacles. You go through them and step by step, you somehow get to your goal even if there are many other uh, side tracks uh, you need to enter. You reach your goal and you, you do it in a sane way. So this is another very important thing. You. Uh, need uh, uh, to, to uh, remain very positive still uh, about your lives. Don't forget about what we were uh, doing already, identifying your strengths. Of course, weaknesses as well. But strengths should be uh, even more important because you can get the energies out of that. And you can actually work on them. If you've got a weakness, start working on that. And this way, you will get further and maybe one of your weaknesses will become in a year or uh, maybe even uh, in a shorter period, one of your strengths. You just need to go the extra mile and work on them. Avoid procrastination. Maybe my husband is smiling at this sentence because I'm this type, but I'm making progress. You really need to know. Um, this uh, wastes plenty of energies, really. Swallowing that frog, eating that frog, and doing those things which you wouldn't really love to do, but you need to, it's better to do it first. And then you experience a relief. And never forget about working on your time management skills, which is not only about managing how many minutes you will spend on reading your emails, but also on how much of energy you have, balancing your energy, 
putting in more efforts to relax and have fun as well, to energize, to get uh, full again and recharge your, your low batteries. Get help when you need it. Ask for help. Never forget about you ask for help on one day and you will help others on another one. They will succeed, which might inspire you. They will become enthusiastic and the circle starts over and over again. So you can get help. You just need to ask for What do you think? What do you need to make use of? Of these ones I have told you more often to be able to maintain your motivation. Is it time management or maybe avoiding procrastination? Helping others or maybe asking for help? Maybe being in the company of enthusiastic people or doing something great? I'm really curious what you think. Let me show you. I don't dare to get back with one of my slides because uh, there might be some technical issues. I'm looking forward to getting some feedback on how to maintain your motivation. Maybe it's up to the time we have it in, but people don't seem to be very active, or maybe there is the delay. Time management and enthusiastic people. Mm -hmm. Making use of this will help you for sure. Avoiding procrastination, time management. Okay. Time management is written a little bit bigger, which means more people have chosen this. So it's in in the focus of many of you. I would uh, give you as advice, don't think of the minutes you spend on things. Think about energy and count everything in wasted or not wasted, effectively used or not effectively used energies. And never forget about relaxing. Okay, enthusiastic atmosphere as well. Checking your bank account, which gives you satisfaction as well, because you don't need to worry, which would take away your energies. Never forget about this. Worrying is also an energy wasting thing, which won't help with your uh, time management. Positive mindset. Good, good, good. Okay. And asking for help. So, fire away, guys. Uh, Stage is yours in this. Um, Always when I ask people what I think about things, uh, it is uh, on my mind telling them and somehow suggesting them start doing something. One step. One step is enough for climbing a mountain. It starts with the first step. If you never make the first step, you won't ever climb any mountains, not even a hill. Okay, Uh, positive mindset and avoiding procrastination. I see there are so many people in the same shoes as me. Okay, guys, we can get back uh, to each other and... uh, Yeah, I have a conversation over coffee related to that. So let's boost your energy levels. We're going to build on what you can be proud of. Think of things you can be proud of. Maybe you have a greatest achievement on mind. Or maybe you have made a best decision at some time in your life where you can be really proud of and you are always thinking, oh Jesus, this was my best decision ever. What do you think? What do people think uh, you are good at? Do they think you are uh, good at maybe something related to your jobs, your uh, family life, your hobbies, 
and you can be proud of that. Have you learned to do something recently? This gives also a sense of achievement or a very positive boost of your energy levels. What can you do if you really want to? Just think of, maybe I can run three kilometers. I've tried it. No, I haven't actually tried it recently, but uh, maybe I can do that. Have you helped others recently? It also gives kind of uh, satisfaction, sense of achievement again, uh, that you helped somebody doing something. And what has your proudest moment been recently? All these questions will help you formulating something which will boost your self-motivation what you will start doing tomorrow for your self-motivation. The very first step. Something that you will do. You promise yourselves. If you write it in English, I, will, I would start, uh, if I were you, like, I will do this or that. Because this is a promise for yourselves. And I will keep quiet now, so you are going to be able to think about it. The first ones are already arriving, but I will wait for one more minute. Okay, I would like to congratulate to the person who will list at least three positive things per day to switch to positive mindset because it will boost their energy levels. And I can congratulate someone else as well who will think more positively. Don't forget about smart goals are extremely needed so set a time for that and set a certain measure whether you were a successful or not so you can measure for yourselves just to have a sense of achievement and uh, there was somebody else as well who will look uh, at the positive side of everything okay again never forget about having a smart goal, even for the first step. This will help you. This will help you go through uh, the whole procedure. One step, again one step, one step, and then you've gone the extra mile. There was one more person who I would like to congratulate for having the decision. They will wake up at 5 a.m. Wow and start the day with a cold shower after learn a new design pattern in Java. Wow! I envy you really and I guess your career will boost like this and your um, motivation level as well. Never forget, never forget about uh, celebrating after each step, after each uh, measurable goal uh, you have reached because it will 
further uh, help you on your long journey of continuous learning. Let me congratulate to someone who wrote, they will start planning what they want for themselves and the family. And thank you for mentioning, not only for yourselves, but uh, the family as well, because this is one of the key success factors. And start planning tomorrow or maybe next week. You set the goals, but never forget about set the time as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to see whether you've done it. Let me congratulate to somebody who will administer their goals to pursue and to be proud of when reached. Very good. Uh, I wasn't joking actually with the fridge. So put your goals somewhere where they are visible for you all the time because this will remind you all the time where you are heading and it will lead you through the path you need to go. It is your decision, your inner drive, and it will go hand in hand with you and remind you wherever you are that you will reach your goal at a certain moment. You just go the extra mile, one by one. And let me congratulate to the seventh person who promised themselves to exercise more and take down some short-term, low-hanging fruit kind of goals. This is also a very important factor to have an easy goal for the first time. And when you see you could reach that goal, you are able to do that. It will give you satisfaction, sense of achievement, and it will actually give you an inner drive, enthusiasm as well, which will feed your energy levels further. Thank you very much for sharing this. And thank you very much for listening to my talk. I hope I could make it interactive enough for you just to make it enjoyable and not very... Um, yeah, kind of uh, presentation like. And I hope uh, your takeaways will come through. Will come through. Sorry. So, this is the best time for new beginnings. This is now. And I can wish you just all the best for your later careers, for your later lives, with your families, with your kids, with your relatives friends and hobbies and i hope this little session uh, was a good em investment for all of you to remember that you shouldn't ever give up you can ask for help if you are in trouble seek for enthusiastic people like the ones who were there at dinner time and listened to a one hour session were interactive throughout the session and wanted to get their takeaways. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, just contact me at my EPAM email address. I will be happy to answer them. And I hope I will close the session now just to give the chance for others as well to get on stage. Thank you. And see you in one of our trainings. Never forget about that.